on a bike in Bamenda. You climb alone. alone. Where? Climb alone. It's like yeah, we are friends. Yes. You guys can decide that. to climb together. In hey, Bamenda, if you, in Yaoundé, Sorry. if you are taking. Today we are going to be doing a little comparison like you might have already seen from the title of the video Living in Yaoundé versus Living in Bamenda So we have, both of us have lived in Yaoundé and we have also lived in, in Bamenda, Bamenda yes. So we can really do the comparison of how things are like, and uh, analyzing on how yes. things are there yeah. So I'm going to be giving a few Bamenda. points like the kind of difference that I've actually seen like the lifestyles in Bamenda Because in Yaoundé. there are some of you who have lived in Yaoundé and have never been to Bamenda you don't really know how the lifestyle here yeah, yeah. in Bamenda looks like so one of the very major things that I have realized about living in Yaoundé versus living in Bamenda is community life in Yaoundé there's no community life I mean like do your thing let me do my own I thing I don't care mind your business and I'll mind my own business yes. don't be my business and I'll not be in your business like there's your, no community you can life. get up in the morning and you don't care and never go home it's not a problem they don't mm. mind it's, it's not, not a problem not you you are you are, in fact it's not a bad thing you have not done anything, anything wrong yes. yes then meanwhile living in Mamenda there's so much community life there are so many things that you enjoy because of the way in fact I've grown up to be in that kind of way I've grown up to always be so how everybody in mind if yes. i go up and i don't give my neighbor even me i'm basically feeling bad that right. I, I, how could i pass like that i not greet this person or how do i do this thing and i don't think about what? this person yes. like if i'm having maybe an occasion like but living here one day like i'm doing my thing it's not your business i don't I'm care doing my own. you even have your child's birthday party in your apartment and your next door neighbor you are not inviting their know. kids like can you imagine does it really make sense i don't really like, know how this no you are doing like not at all like, no like and that's one of the things that i always love i always go back to my mental for the community the community life that we live everybody is happy for everybody i mean everybody wants to see everybody like we're just happy to be yes like even when like, when results are out you're happy you're shouting yeah i fast you go and knock your neighbor mommy i fast i have this number of people and she's happy she's like congratulations my daughter that's like but in yaoundé celebrate by yourself how does it concern me is it my business like yeah i really never been there for that and i'm now like my parish back in Bamenda, St. John Parish. I mean, like, there's nothing, there's no other parish that I'll trade for, for St. John Parish. I love my parish, the community life, the youth there, everybody's just, we're always together, just doing things together, happy, smiling together, all of that. Like, that's just what really makes life interesting. The you. fact that you can come together, you can laugh together. Yeah, because Yes. At the end of the day, we have to do less. It's important to also work and, and have money and do things. But at the end of the day, if you are going to have your money alone, it's not going to really be sweet as yes. opposed to when you are together and then you are enjoying it together. Enjoy it. So, the community life is something that is really lacking in your own day and is very, very much present in Bamenda. Like in Bamenda, you climb alone. alone. Where? Climb alone. It's like yeah, we are friends. Yes. You guys decide like. to climb together. In hey, Bamenda, if you, in Yaoundé, Sorry. if you are taking a bike alone, you are hiring the bike. <laughs> You know that as they are going in front, it's the bike is pole. stopping like a taxi. The bike is stopping and trying to take other passengers. Oh, the bike is stopping. So sorry, but like yeah. when I just came to London, I was like, you want to carry another person? How when I'm eating the bike, you want to gonna come here? I don't even know. It's you want to the person? You want the person to sit behind? Bikes like, also have the pole. I was shocked when I just came in. Like okay, so this is how you guys are doing. So mm -hmm. you cannot take your bike alone. I mean, you must take the bike and another person going to climb behind you. Again. So that I didn't even know, you know, the person has never been there. In Bamenda, you know, when you take there. your bike, it's right up to your destination. Um, alone. Alone, yes. Yeah, that stuff, they don't have it there in Bamenda. Mm -hmm. In Yaoundé, it is something else. Very horrible. Very horrible. That's why life in Yaoundé is generally hard yeah. compared to Bamenda. <laughs> yes, it's hard. Like, see what it is. This, uh, that beautiful face for the first time we're doing a collab video and i'm really happy to be doing a collab video with her i'm going to leave her details in the description check out her channel she also has some fun stuff and we also have other collab videos so you just go to her channel check out check out the other previous videos that i've done with her and if you want to see more collab videos from us and you have more ideas for collab videos definitely comment down below and we are going to do those videos for you 
people who live in Yonde, they are really more open minded. Yeah. Like, they go out, even they have clubs that I don't know if they call it the clubs where that, that is meant for kids. Oh, really? Yes, here yeah, in Yaoundé, like it's meant for kids, especially during the Christmas period. There is where the kids will contribute your money. You could go there, you could pay like 500 to enter, you could dance with your friends, and it's very normal. It's a very normal something in Yaoundé, and even in Yaoundé, like you can grow up. In Yaounde and going for club is very, very normal. Even your parents, if your parents are like Yaounde people, when you just mm -hmm. tell them that you're going out, they don't mind. They're like, okay, True. come back at this time maybe. But mm -hmm. in Bamenda, I don't know how where you even take the gods to even tell your parents that you're going for club. It's very normal in Bamenda. You better go and come back there a bit too. Yes, like they all know that you're going. You just yes. go there and then come, <laughs> come back. back. Now, That's where you're coming from. from. That's That's where you start it it before you're going. <laughs> because when you see it before leaving, they will never accept. They never have the opportunity to go. Yes, you will not have the opportunity to go. So, I think people in Yaoundé that are really open-minded. Yeah. People yeah. with respect to other things. And yes. People, like, people just like, the kind of things that in Bamenda will consider as very very like Bad, the, you don't have to do it yes the people are very the people here are very much more open but then they don't really like see it, those things if in young day problem. it's as if life starts there in the night if you happen to be out in the night you wonder again whether all these people they don't have houses I what are all like you, the this town is really full is very the like everybody's out, but even minus the fact that things are going on in Bamenda now, when Bamenda mm -hmm. was just normal, I don't think that, like we didn't, we, even if some people be very cautious, yes. we were very cautious. Maybe if you are at your friend's place at 5, hey, I'm going to the house, today. so I'm going to be sick, mm -hmm. I'm going to the house, apart from the, the war and all the life is right, but we're very cautious, Yeah. very, very yeah, cautious. Yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. Life is in the night, though. <laughs> life is in the night. But you have to, but you even go out with your happening. parents. Your parents even take people out at night. Yeah. Amanda, no, your parents don't take you out at night. If they want to even take you out, it's during the day, not at huh? night. What are you doing out of the house, man? So, it yes, you were seeing that place where you getting that. You were not seeing that place where you getting that. that. Yeah, to see come back to the house. Yeah, yeah, see out of the house. Mm -hmm. You must be sick. You must be sick. Out of experience. <laughs> very, very, very experienced in the domain. <laughs> very experienced in the domain. <laughs> when it comes to food, in Bamenda, you will never see a responsible married man who just get up in the morning and he's going to work. He'll just stop at the cafeteria, like in this local roadside cafeteria, to eat. Who does that in Bamenda with soup? But in Yaoundé, they can just like they don't even need to sit down, they'll just stand, just take that pop off and pop. And no, that and that, I was like, I'm There's not understanding. No nobody is There's worried no about problem, it. And nobody's worried yeah, about normal. it. There. It's but normal. Even with your wife at home, it's a normal something. It's a normal something. And you can even buy like that. I say, I say, Lily, maybe your wife even come with her bow. <laughs> <laughs> That's to get us. For them, it's very normal. But in Bamenda, no, it's really different. I mean, like people don't do that. People are more cautious. Yeah, yeah they, they don't want to be to like look me. like. Me. It's not really even really in the next thing, it's not really about me thinking about what other people would say about you, but it's really about how you are like more co more composed with respect to these kind of things. You know that no, this kind of thing like this. Yes. Mm -mm. It's I not nice. I cannot do this, this, this kind of thing. Yeah, it's not even really because maybe someone is going to say and say that, but it's just like the general let's say maybe it's like a culture that we're growing up with, like mm -hmm. we don't do some kind of things that are just going to be looking what kind of bizarre way everybody's conscious about. If I'm doing this thing, then no, it's not clear. You don't just walk around and do things that they want. And you know, the people just do it and it's very normal. Or even because I even eat him, like why move him, like you're eating your own shit. You just buy a bread. Bread in Bamenda, that if you're first of all eating bread in the afternoon, it means you're first of all eating bread. Bread in your own day, bread morning, bread afternoon, bread in the night, bread any time of the day. In Bamenda, we only know that bread is in the morning for breakfast. If you are even eating bread in the afternoon, you are, you are something suffering. Wrong. Something wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. You are sick. What's about biting it dry? Yeah, Jesus. And then walking on the road and eating. Yeah, yeah. That's something bread that and meat. That walking on the road and eating bread and like, meat. People don't really do it. And people don't really consider it as maybe proper. Like sit down. Sit down. Like, where, where, if you buy your stuff from the sit down and eat there. Yes. They hear whatever. If you buy your stuff, don't eat it. And you will do it. Very normal. Something and one thing that I've also noticed, like 
primary schools in Yaoundé. I, I, I was thinking, I argued this thing with my sister. In Yaoundé, I've noticed that people, kids go to school with their food. They don't sell on campus. On oh, the, okay, yeah, yeah, the school campus. They don't sell like in Bamenda, people come with scotch egg, all yes, these small, small yes. things yes, to sell on campus. But yeah, in Yaoundé, they have their food uh, mm -hmm. bulbs and that's all is for break. Mm -hmm. That's not in Bamenda. Eh? They will give you 100 to go to school. <laughs> 200 to go to school. Well, well, the yes, day. you will be the one now to choose and which but I really admire the Yaoundé lifestyle when it comes to that. When you have mm -hmm. to prepare your child's lunch back. Yeah, you should really, you yes. should really have one to do. The other point, maybe really, there's more that has lived in Bamenda and we have equally lived in Yaoundé. Maybe the other points that maybe we did not mention. Just do well to comment down below based on the few points that we're able to source our material in Bamenda and Yaoundé. Thank you guys for watching this video right up to this point. If you love the video, please, please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and equally, don't forget to share with your friends that are equally going to enjoy this kind of content. So stay tuned because we are coming through with much, much, much more videos that you are going to like. Don't forget to head to Karine's channel and subscribe. check out her channel, like, subscribe. Say that you are from Karen's channel. Karen sent you to her channel. Comment down below that the one that sent you to her channel. So thank you guys so much and see you guys on the next, next video. video. Bye. Bye. Bye.